Hi guys, welcome to your weekly energy reading. This is for December 23rd through the 29th. Um, so the final week of December and we are going to have a look um, with the cards. We're gonna be looking at your sun, moon and or rising signs. So um, check out what signs you are, what elements those reside in and then, you know, watch the video. I'm going to be working with the Indigo Angels Oracle as well as the Rider Waite Tarot. And you guys had some jumper cards. So we're going to start with the Earth Energy. So my Earth Signs, um, you guys got the Two of Wands. <clears throat> you guys have Release and Relax and Dreams. So Two of Wands with the Dreams card is really, really telling me that there's some of you guys who are already starting to plan out your New Year resolutions. You're starting to plan out what you want to see in the coming future, what you want to have happen. You're, you're setting some goals and this is a really good week to do that, okay? Um, my Earth Signs, I want you guys to look outside the box. I want you guys to see beyond your comfort zones and to see beyond what you are normally used to. I challenge you guys to go outside of that. Step into the realm of your dreams. What are your dream goals? What are your dream passions? What are things that you really want to see happen in your life in the new in the near future? Um, I really feel like some of your goals have to be a little bit more challenging to get you to push yourself further. Um, don't get caught up in being comfortable um, this year. 2020 needs to be your year to achieve and surpass beyond your own limitations, your own boundary points. And see more than just like what's around you. Like there's a whole world out there and it's like you have so much more p potential. The other thing you guys are being guided to is release and relax this week. So don't get so stressed out over things. If there's there's stuff you didn't achieve for 2019, some of you guys who are still, you know, you're, you're good at, at like maintaining your goals throughout the month. Maybe December wasn't quite the month for you to achieve certain things that you wanted to. That's okay. You guys need to be a little bit nicer to yourselves. Release and relax. Let that go. Let this last week of December be a very relaxing week for you guys. Because if you really pump up the volume a little bit <laughs> and get yourselves going, then 2020 will be a very busy busy year for you and which is good my earth signs you guys are good with being busy um but i want to see more challenge from you guys so keep it easy this week but also start start forming a plan for some goals that you want to achieve within the next month okay my air signs air signs you guys have shielding you guys also have nine of wands so my air signs, um, for some of you guys, I'm feeling like this is personal attacks that other people have been taking on you. Um, I feel like some of my air signs, you guys feel like you have to constantly be showing up and, and explaining yourself to other people. And reality is, is that you don't have to explain yourselves or your actions or your choices or, or the things that you choose to do with your life to anybody. Um, you don't have to answer to anybody. And I feel like that's what I'm kind of seeing with the two cards. That's, that's like the first impression that I have. Um, another thing is this week for my air signs, shielding to me is protecting, okay? You're protecting yourself from oncoming, um, you know, negative energies, people who are giving you side eye, that kind of thing. Um, I feel like this week you guys are going to be feeling it, especially if we're, you know, we're going into the holiday week, like Christmas and is, is a common. <laughs> and some of my air signs, if you guys are going to be around a lot of family members and people that you haven't really seen for a while, you might be feeling that. You might be feeling that and you might be feeling quite exhausted by the end of the week where it's just like you just have no energy and no patience for anybody so be aware air signs and if this looks to be like the the direction that you guys are headed this week i would advise that you guys um make sure you take some time outs for yourselves make sure that you step away from the family gatherings go outside have some you know have a breath of fresh air or um Opt to take your own car to the family get, get together. This way you have an, um, access to leaving early if you need to, you know. Um, and, and don't overbook yourself this week, my God, you guys. Like, be gentle with yourself. Same thing like with my, with my um, earth signs. Like, give yourself a gentle week. Um, because I feel like a lot of you guys are just, it's too much. Uh, it's a bit too much. With that shielding card to me, that's just saying it's a bit too much and you guys are just, you know... Some of you are dealing with drama with people and then some of you guys are just feeling 
emotionally, physically exhausted. So give yourself this week to, you know, relax, enjoy family time. But when family time is a bit too much, make sure you have access to walk away and step away and don't feel bad for doing that either. Fire signs, you guys had a lot of jumper cards. <laughs> so fire signs, you guys got divine timing. Ask for a sign. Patience. And the emperor. So my fire signs, you guys are ready. Um, what I'm seeing is that you guys are ready. You're pumped for the new year. You ha you're pumped for the whole fresh new start. You're seeing it. You're aggressive. You want to get, you know, you want to be on top of it. You want to be first in line, you know, that kind of thing. So I feel like my fire signs, like you guys are just anxious to get this week over with so we could start with the new year and like you can get going with your projects and get going with some amazing ideas that you have. I feel like some of my fire signs have... You guys have like kind of thought up some amazing things that you want to do with your projects, with your with your with your careers or with your goals and whatnot, and you're you're waiting for the right moment to kind of you know share that with the world. Um, and so I feel like you guys are just feeling on top of things with the Emperor cards. You guys are feeling like you're ready to take initiative, take the lead role this week. But um, your Oracle cards are saying, you know, when you're asking, asking for a sign, some of my fire signs, if you have some questions as to, you know, the direction of your future and whatnot, asking for a sign from your guides and then be patient and allow divine timing to come through. So, um, it is likely that some of my fire signs are a little bit anxious to get started with the new year, but you also have to be reminded <laughs> that there is a little thing called divine timing and it's not on your time. It's on God's time. So basically when God says it's it's good for this to happen to you I'm gonna let it happen to you now even though maybe you might feel like well I could have done that like weeks ago it has to happen when divine timing when the universe says you're ready for this it'll they'll, they'll let it happen for you or they won't let it happen for you sometimes divine timing is them saying no you know um, so I feel like for you guys um, fire signs if there's something that you want if there's something that you're looking for, some answers, ask for a sign, be patient, and allow divine timing to come through and let it flow to you when it's meant to be. And lastly, my water signs, we got expression, and we also have the fool. I love it. So my water signs, um, you guys got to take leaps with that fool card. Take leaps, go on the adventure, take the trip, go on that vacation, take that day off, whatever whatever the fool is symbolizing for you guys, okay? Intuitively, like, you'll know what that means. But this week, you guys, the fool card is saying, get ready. You are gonna start rewinding, like, rewind, <laughs> what I wanna say? You're, you're restarting everything, okay? We're on the brink of a new year. Um, and my water signs is like, wash out, wash out the old negative energies, cleanse your space, cleanse yourself, get ready for a new year. This is the final week of the year of 2019. You guys have odds and ends, maybe things that you want to, you know, complete before we, we restart all over again. Um, that expression card is telling me maybe there's some, th some things that you guys want to express, um, whether it's communicating outward, giving messages, you know, this and that. I know for me, I have quite a few readings that I still need to do that I have a goal of finishing them before the end of the year. <laughs> so maybe, you know, that for me, that's that's my way of expressing messages. Um, but for some of you wa water signs, don't be afraid to take leaps. Don't be afraid to try new things. Don't be afraid to start over. Don't be afraid to start from the bottom, okay? Um, sometimes you got to start from the bottom to work your way up and make magic happen. Um, I just feel like a lot of these signs, like pretty much everybody is ready. Um, everybody is ready to kind of get that new start going to start that new year, that new year energy. My my air signs though, you guys, um, I feel like my air signs are just so tired. <laughs> I feel like you guys are so tired and you're just like, I'm so sick of the drama and I'm so sick of dealing with the same old, same old. Like I feel like some of my air signs are in a cycle. Um, so I'm hoping that you guys will find your way out of it and get out of it because um, leave that stuff behind. You know what I mean? Like things that you don't want to take with you into the new year, old habits, people, memories, whatever, leave it leave it in the past like literally figuratively speaking and f like literally physically speaking too leave them in the past okay start cutting your cords and stuff this week you guys um anyways that is your weekly energy reading i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have questions comments concerns leave them below otherwise have a beautiful week and a merry christmas bye guys